Welcome to the fourth tutorial of phase 2 and in this tutorial we are going to learn about normals, shading, face orientation and back face culling. So we already talked a lot about normals in our phase 1. So what are normals and how can we use them in this 3D software? Well as you know that in our 3D world all objects have a front side as well as a back side, right? So just like that in this 3D software all polygons of any 3D model will have a front side as well as a back side. And to check that front side and back side we use the concept which is the normals. So how to check the normals in this Blender 3D? Well as you know that we have three basic components of a 3D modeling which is the vertex, edge and face. So you can check the normals on these three basic components individually by pressing tab on your keyboard to enter in the edit mode and then you can simply go to the viewport overlays to check the normals on these three different basic components. You can simply check the normals in vertices. Uh, let me increase the length of normals a little bit, just like that. And now you can see we have these blue color lines as normal of our these vertices. So similarly, you can also check for edges. So you can see we have normals in pink color lines and every single vertex have three normals on itself. Do not get confused about this. Let me explain you a little bit. So you can see we have three edges three different edges meeting over on this vertex right so this normal is actually the normal of this edge and this normal belongs to this edge similarly this normal belongs to this edge and they are all contributing together to make these three normals at this vertex and then similarly you can check the normals for your faces and you can see all faces have their normals coming out from center so so that's how you can check the normals of polygons of any 3D model in your Blender system. So there are a few other ways to check the normals in your Blender system. So let me flip one of these faces on purpose. So let me select this face and press Alt and on your keyboard to activate the normal caddy. And now you can simply flip any face on purpose if you want. And now I have flipped this face. But you can't even see that if our face is flipped. So just like that, the flip normals in your 3D model can cause some sort of problems, can cause some sort of issues in your rendering output. So that is why every single time we always check the normals of any 3D model. So similarly to check the normals of this cube right now, you need to go to overlays and you can activate this face orientation. So this face orientation help us to know the front face as well as the back face of all the polygons in our 3D model. So you can see we have two colors. So this blue color is actually telling us that these polygons are facing front side and this red color is actually showing us the back face of this polygon. So you can also check the normals with this uh, face orientation as well as you can also check these. Uh, you can also check the normals with this back face culling. So by simply activating this you can see back face culling is actually hiding that back face polygon on this cube but you can see other polygons neat and clean and clearly on your 3d viewport but when you uh, navigate around this face your cube starts to hide away so let me just press 3 on my numpad to activate the right orthographic view just like that and now you can see the entire object just kind of disappear from the viewport it is there but back face culling is actually hiding that face from this 3d viewport and that's what that back face culling exactly does so how to fix this problem? I mean how to fix the flipped faces problem in our 3D model? Well it can be simply done by, by simply getting into edit mode by pressing tab and then select your entire model by pressing A on your keyboard then simply press shift N on your keyboard and now it will automatically recalculate your normals. And now by simply pressing this normals on faces you can see all faces are now acting front side. And just like that you can simply uh, make your normals correct. So make sure whenever you work on any 3D model you always check its normals. So after the concept of this normals the next thing is shading. Shading is also actually based on normals. So let's get down to this one. So let me add another model over here which is this cylinder. So now you can see we have this cylinder in our 3D viewport. And by default every 3D system actually use the flat shading type as their default. And as you know that we are seeing this cylinder in face shading. So in face shading the 3D system actually calculates the normal of every single polygon or face right from its center. So due to that fact we are seeing these 
edges more sharp and crisp in this cylinder or even we can see that in sphere just like that so every 3d software will have a face shading as well as a smooth shading and you can access that shading by simply selecting the object in your 3d viewport and simply pressing right mouse button and you can see we have many different types of functionalities in this caddy and the first two are related to shading so we want to change this shading to smooth i mean whenever we're gonna work on 3d model in our 3d viewport we always change it to smooth shading so when we use smooth shading the system actually starts to calculate the normals from the vertices of every single polygon in the 3d model so in smooth shading the 3d system gonna calculate the normals of all the polygons in your 3d model from their vertices so as i select this shade smooth so as you can see our cylinder actually turned into something more like a smooth 3d model but also showing some sort of uh, shading problem over here in this black and white color over and similarly over here on the top so now our object is actually smooth out this smooth shading actually doesn't affect the geometry at all and you can see by pressing shift z on your keyboard and you can see this is the entire mesh of this cylinder in this wireframe mode smooth shading actually now calculating the normals of these faces right from their vertices and you can manipulate these normals shading a little bit from these object data properties over here and simply go to normals and then you can simply check this auto smooth to smooth out your shade smoothing in the 3d viewport and just like that and now you can see all those corner faces are now gone and this cylinder is looking more smooth from the center and you can see we also have this angle option over here and what this angle does is it actually showing us the inclination angle of all the normals of vertices in this 3d cylinder in 3d viewport and when i start to tweak around the value of this angle you can see the shading in cylinder starts to change and when i take it down to zero and you can see those corner faces are now emerging out so to make our object more smooth in smooth shading we change this angle to something like 30 which is set by default but in different types of 3d model you can change this angle according to your own preference so now you can see our object is quite smooth this shade smoothing and auto smoothing can save a lot of uh, geometry to be added in a 3d model because when we want to smooth out any object in 3d viewport we always add new subdivisions in our 3d model to make it look more smooth and better with shading so as you can see we have activated this auto smooth but actually it doesn't affect the normals of vertices at the moment but behind the scenes it is actually changing the direction of those normals so and due to that fact we are getting this nice clean topology of this cylinder so that's how this shading works with our normals so that's it with the shading of these 3d models i hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and uh, and try to work with these settings by yourself in blender system because more you wanna work with this functionality more quicker you're gonna learn them so thanks for watching and see you guys in the next part